just wondering, have you ever actually run the self-clean cycle on your oven? Because I literally never have in my life. And I ran it today. And I am actually surprised that it worked. I, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't, I mean, it's called self-clean and it exists for a reason. But for some reason, I just opened my oven and I was like, wow, it's clean. That's okay. Like, make, I should have had more faith, I suppose. But I want to show you. I'm just kind of excited. Like, it's really clean. Look it. There was like a big old puddle of who knows what <laughs> that had leaked at the bottom of the oven. And look at this. It's not there. I am kind of shook, to be honest. Which is a good thing, because, you know, I don't have to stick my head in the oven and try to scrub it. So, you know, yay for that. Hey, so I got an email a while ago that um, this oven has actually been recalled. Well, not the whole oven. There's a recall <laughs> because it's easy to accidentally turn on the ranges. Like if you bump them, um, they can accidentally turn on. Um, and then the same thing with, well, this too, but there's nothing you can really do about that because it's on the front. I have, I can't tell you how many times I've like accidentally turned on the oven because it's so easy to do. Um, <laughs> but um, as part of the recall, they sent these, which are locks for the knobs. So I think I'm supposed to just, yeah, you just, you put it on like that. And then now I can't turn it on accidentally. And they sent me four of them. So I have all four I can put on here. Whoop, that's the wrong way. Like that. Put all four on there. And then while I may still <laughs> accidentally turn on the oven, I cannot now accidentally turn on the range. So that's a good thing. I will, I, you know, I will tell you when I saw recall, I was like, oh no, what? But yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so there you go. Easy peasy. Now I won't turn on my stove by accident. Yay. Christy, what did you find? mine now. <laughs> Time to pick a question. Okay, let's see. Uh, how about this one? Oh, I picked two. This one. <laughs> what? Okay, sorry, it was worded awkwardly. What age when you turned it was the most difficult for you to accept? On the other hand, which of your birthdays do you remember anticipating with the greatest amount of enthusiasm? Um, 40 was, was weird. Um, honestly, 30 was weird. 40 was weird. I feel like those milestone birthdays, um, it was like, wow, am I really that age? <laughs> um, I, so not so much difficult to accept, but the, where I just was like, oh, okay. Um, I'm that age now. Like, I remember as a child thinking that 40 was old. <laughs> it is not. 40 is not old at all. Um, so, yeah, 30 and 40, I think, were, were interesting. And two, two, two more years, it'll be 50. And, I, like, I feel the same way, like, leading up to 50, but probably, like, I'll hit 50 and be like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> um, I am actually looking forward to 50, though, so... Um, but that's because I'm planning to take a trip to Japan uh, when I turn 50. So I'm very much looking forward to that. <laughs> I also, though, I feel like I remember 21 being, feeling like, you know, I'm for real, for real an adult. Like you're an adult at 18, kind of, but in the US, you're like half adult at, like, at 18 because some things take effect at 21. So <laughs> I feel like 21, it was like, I'm here, I made it. Yeah, 21 is nothing. <laughs> the years past that have showed me that, yeah, 21 is nothing. So, um, yeah, but I am looking forward to 50. I'm looking forward to my trip to Japan and uh, we'll see where life takes me. I don't know, but uh, I'm, I'm in it, you know? I'm in it to win it. Let's see where the ride goes. <laughs> hey, Sunday afternoon. Um, I am, have come home from church. I've eaten lunch, relaxed a little bit. Um, I think after this, I'm probably gonna like, I don't know, play a computer game or something, just relax. I don't have anything else planned for today. Um, I did my cooking yesterday. I cooked two meals, three meals. I cooked three meals yesterday. Um, my breakfast frittata, 
for the week. And I also cooked some Chinese pepper steak, which is what I just ate for lunch. It was delicious. And um, I made some uh, turkey ramen as well, which I'll be having for lunch tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so that I kind of got all that done yesterday. And uh, today I don't, there's nothing. I can just do whatever I want today, which will be nice. Just relax. Um, this past week has been, it's been, it's like the past couple of days specifically, I've had some anxiety. Um, I have a, a minor health issue that's chronic that is not a big deal. It really isn't. It's not a huge deal, but it is chronic um, and it keeps happening. And <laughs> I don't know, like I get anxious about it. I have an appointment with a specialist coming up this coming week, which is a very good thing. That's not, the anxiety isn't about seeing the specialist but it's just about the chronic nature of the condition and like how it just keeps happening. And so like, I don't know, like I think I'm like on edge of like, am I, is it gonna happen again like so soon? Cause I like just went through, um, kind of we'll call it a flare up cause I'm not gonna say exactly what it is, but we'll call it a flare up. I just had that one. And then, and then a month later it happened again. And normally this particular condition is about every three months it would kind of come back. But I got it after a month. And so now I'm like really paranoid, like, is it gonna happen again? Like, is this so quick? Anyway, so I've, I've been anxious and I've been trying not to be anxious because like I said, it's not like a life-threatening or really serious thing at all. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just get the anxiety. Yesterday was was bad. I, I'm not gonna say I was in a panic mode. I was not, but I, I was definitely anxious. Like I, my body was tight and I just, I don't know if you've ever felt, if you've ever been in a state where like nothing sounds good to do. Like I was like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Like nothing. I just wasn't, and I didn't want to eat. Like I couldn't eat. And again, my stomach didn't hurt. Like I was fine. I just, I don't know. Like nothing was good and I just couldn't relax. It was just an odd feeling. And I ended up going, up, going in the room and I got in the bed. Like, no, I was not sleepy at all. <laughs> But I just got in the bed because I was like, there's nothing, I, there's nothing to do. Like, I can't do anything. And I'm just in the bed. And the reason I get in the bed sometimes when I get like that is because I have a weighted blanket. And that kind of, that weight helps. So I'm just, I'm in the bed and I'm just kind of, I'm just like, okay, I could, I don't want to do that. I don't. And I'm just literally just laying there like, I don't know what to do. It was unpleasant. Um, I got out of it eventually. I was like, you know what, just get up, go, you know just put on some YouTube, just whatever, just do something. And I was able to function and I was able to kind of finish out the day. I, at that point, it was kind of like, it was like 8.30 PM. And I was like, I just need to like run down the clock on today. <laughs> like 8.30 PM is too early to go to bed. It needs to be at least 10 PM. So I just need to run down the clock to 10 PM. That's kind of the state I was in. I just, I don't know. It was very odd. I was able to run down the clock <laughs> to 10 p.m. And then I went to bed. And uh, I feel better today. I do feel like 100% better. No. I feel 80%. <laughs> I feel better today. I am still not at 100%. I can definitely still feel that restlessness is a little bit, a little bit, but it's not like yesterday. And prayerfully, it will not get like yesterday. Because that was, I didn't like that. <laughs> it's not good. So anyway, um... Yes, I'm going to be working on that. Thankfully, my appointment with the specialist is Thursday. So I don't have to wait too long before I can talk to someone about it and hopefully get some advice, get some, you know, encouragement, hopefully, <laughs> after talking to them. But um, leading up to that, I just, I'm going to have to really try not to be anxious. So pray for me. If you're a praying person, I appreciate your prayers when it comes to that because... It's, it's, it's kind of messed with me the past few days. <laughs> so, but anyway, like I said, right now at this moment, I feel pretty okay. And I'm, I'm happy about that. I am always grateful for every moment that I feel well, mentally and or physically. I am very grateful for because I know what it feels like to not, get, you know, what it, when I don't feel right. Um, so I, whenever I do feel right, I'm grateful. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm grateful. Um, like I said, I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm not gonna run the clock down. Like now I feel okay. So now I'm just gonna enjoy myself. I'm inside. I don't know what, what game I'm gonna play. I have the, the iMac. My old computer is on. It's behind the phone. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at it. It's actually like I'm looking at it like behind the camera. 
Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a game to play, and I'm gonna sit here and enjoy and play a game and just relax. So that's that. Um, yeah, nothing else to say. Like I said, I think yeah, the appointment coming up this week. Um, work is normal except the fact that I did take a half day for the appointment because the appointment's like an hour away from where I live. And rather than deal with an hour there, an hour at the appointment, probably an hour coming back and I have to flex time. No, I just took a half day. And then I have Friday off as a just because day, which was scheduled before. It has nothing to do with the appointment. I happen to take this coming Friday off as a just because day off. So I actually have a three and a half day work week. So that's cool. Um, but when I am at work, it will be normal. Nothing special going on this week. So I think that's it. Next weekend, stay tuned. I might be making chocolate baklava, not cake. That did not turn out. <laughs> but just plain chocolate baklava, maybe next weekend. Because I'll have a three-day weekend, so it's a good time to experiment again with baking. So stay tuned for that. Um, but that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did kind of two weeks in one because not a lot happened. So, <laughs> um, so that's it. I'm going to end it in prayer as always. So let's go in prayer. Lord, I thank you very much for this week. Thank you that even though I did have anxiety and, you know, to an extent still do, but thank you for helping me get through it. Um, thank you that you're always with me, that you're always helping me. I pray that you'll continue to help me in my mind against anxiety. Um, you know, whether, whether I'm feeling it at the time or not, I know that it's something that I struggle with um, regularly. So just thank you for all the work you've already done in me and uh, look forward to the work that you're continuing to do in me to improve that. I pray for everyone watching this who might have um, deal with anxiety and deal with depression and any kind of just mental health issues. I pray for them as well, Lord, that you would move in their minds and hearts as well um, to help them to um, think differently and so that they don't have to experience those things so much. I look forward to the coming week and um, to everything that you're going to do. So I pray that your will be done in and through all of our lives um, as we go about our days and uh, just lift up anything that anybody is struggling with as well, Lord, that your will be done in and through those situations. And all of this I thank you for and pray in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's it. So I'll end it as always with number 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Bye.